Welcome to the machine familiarization video for the HD 785-8 Rigid Frame Haul Truck. This video will review key features located throughout the machine. The goal is to familiarize you with the use, operation, and maintenance of the components and systems for safe and effective operation. Starting at the rear of the machine, if we look up we see two cameras. The top camera being used for the reverse rear view camera, and the bottom camera is utilized by the ComVision system. For easier maintenance, remote central grease fittings can be located on top of the differential housing. An addition of an inspection plate has been added to allow maintenance personnel a visual inspection of the differential ring gear. Moving to the left side of the truck, between the front and rear tires, are a few items to be mentioned. Here is where we find the transmission oil sight gauge and fill neck. You will also find the visual sight gauge and the fill neck for the hydraulic tank. A new feature on the HD 785-8 is the ground level service center, which includes a quick fill adapter for the engine oil, transmission and brake cooling oil, brake control oil, and the steering and hoist hydraulic oil. Continuing forward to the engine bay, we can see that the HD 785-8 now incorporates panels for complete enclosure of the engine. A latched panel has been added for easy access to the KCCV filters and the engine oil fill neck and dipstick. Under the engine access panel is another enclosure that houses one of the high efficiency fuel filters and fuel pre-filter with water separator. Looking behind the fuel filter enclosure, another remote central grease fitting junction can be viewed. Looking to the top of the engine bay, we find the on-off toggle switch for the electric fuel priming pumps. Under the frame rail, there is an enclosure that houses the coolant quick fill adapter. Under the cab in front of the tire, Notice the two cameras used by the ComVision system. Another enclosure we come across is the data collection and battery disconnect box. Inside this box, we see the data collection ports, the machine immobilization switch, which will lock out all hydraulic functions. Other switches in this box are the battery disconnect switch, the starter lockout switch, and a toggle switch to operate the engine bay service light. Lastly is the auxiliary engine starting connector. Outside of the data collection and battery disconnect box are two switches. The first is the ground level emergency shutdown switch, which will shut the machine down in case of an emergency. This next switch is the staircase light toggle switch, which will illuminate the staircase in low light conditions. Looking directly at the front of the truck, you can see the easy access boarding ladder, as well as multiple emergency egress points. The headlight cluster, which includes the fog light, low beam, high beam, turn signal and clearance lamps can also be seen from this view. There is also a ComVision camera mounted to the front of the boarding access. Two wheel chalk holders can also be found at the front of the machine. Moving into the right side engine bay is similar to the left side with the engine completely closed off. The latched access panel on this side will lead to the engine oil filters. The other high efficiency fuel filter and pre-filter are mounted in the same fashion as the left side, in an enclosure mounted to the frame. The brake circuit supply filter is also mounted to the frame, as well as the optional oil pan heater connection point. The front right corner also houses two ComVision cameras as well. When looking at the center section of the right hand side of the truck, we mainly see the fuel tank with a Wiggins quick fill, as well as a standard fill neck and a visual sight gauge. Mounted behind the fuel tank, we will find a tool storage box that is sealed from the environment. In the front of the fuel tank is the brake tank with the visual sight gauge and fuel neck, which are both under covers. Now that we have been around the truck on the ground level, let's head up onto the deck. Once on top of the deck, the first thing we encounter is the battery box. The battery box is where the machine batteries are held, along with several circuit breakers and relays. Just behind the battery box is the coolant reservoir with visual sight gauge. Moving to the center of the deck, is a panel that can be lifted to gain access to the top of the engine where the twin KDPFs are mounted. To the rear and above the engine access panel is where the twin dual element air filters are mounted with their vacuum restriction gauges. Last on the deck is the cab access. The cab can be entered from the left side for the operator and the right side for the passenger. We will discuss the cab in more detail in another video in this series. This concludes the machine familiarization video for the HD 785-8 Rigid Frame Haul Truck. For more information, please refer to the Operation and Maintenance Manual or contact your local distributor. You may also visit us at www.komatsuamerica.com. Thank you for choosing Komatsu products.